In this video, I will demonstrate how you use the container program to add and correct locations of uh, containers that you have. It's very important that every time you have a change on uh, new containers or containers who have, which has moved, that you update this because if you leave it for a couple of months, it's quite tough to uh, keep this up to date. So every time you have a change, just go in and follow this procedure. Um, you log into the backside of your Joomla and you go to components and it's called store locator and it's called location manager. This will show you all the containers that you have. Uh, it's a name uh, and an address. Both of them should be filled in. So. If it is not like a name like Aldi or Coop or something, you do like here. Yeah, you write the the address also under the name and under the address. So there's no empty spaces. Now I want to add a new container. And the way that I do that is I click on new. <clears throat> you get a name, which is, for example, Maulerby school center. I know there is one right next to there anyway, but it's just for demonstration. Uh, it's a uh, Sir Who Survive 79 and that's 4000, uh, is it not uh, 300? Skills girl. like that. Uh, and that's what you need to do. Then you can click on this uh, calculate coordinates and it will take this address and it will fill in the latitude and longitude. And that's done. So I save and close. Invalid form. Let me see. Uh, maybe I have forgot something. Oh yes, I need to select the category which is UFF.TECO. It's the only one available. Um, then save and close and it has been added. So if I now go in and write uh, 4000 or the 300 um, no it was not that, it was 4000 was it 230, 4230, let me try again there we are and now this has been added next to the other containers that was already added for something source so that's the way you add a new container. For now, I will just delete this one here, as it was just for demonstration. <clears throat> uh, then, what if you need to correct another one? You uh, go into, let me just go back to Location Manager. Uh, I will remove this search on Maulabu. And uh, this is about the container in Roskilde. You find it here. You go into the container. If it has been removed, you can just trash it. Or you can unpublish it if you expect it to come back again. Because then later you can just publish it again. Or you can open it. And if there was an incorrection with the address, you can correct the address correct the name up here as you want. If you have changed the address then calculate coordinates again and save and close. This way you will always keep it up to date and uh, all the containers uh, will be shown correctly. If you for example wait three months and you have had 15 changes it might be difficult to remember what has changed and then you are in a situation that you need to upload the whole spreadsheet again and that is a little bit more complicated as it needs to go uh, through a, a couple of procedures in order to, to do that. So the best way is always keep it updated and um, then it will be running smoothly.